put up. Oh my God, you guys, they opened a Coney Island in Chicago. Because you're not excited. It takes two people for a wee to calm down, doesn't it? Today we're headed to Lola's Coney Island to show you guys exactly why that snap on a dog is so important. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Do this. I don't know if this is coincidence or not, but that is a Michigan billboard right next to a Michigan Coney Island. Corey, do you like my shirt? Love it, go Tigers. Yeah. Oh yeah, if there's any Tigers players watching, we have some inside information from our good friend Jason Klatt that there might be a couple Tigers players watching. If you're watching this, you wanna do a Coney dog with us? We'll come we into Detroit, Detroit. Yeah. anytime. Just let us know. Can we do it in the clubhouse? No. Can we do it in the clubhouse? Oh. Please, please. Here with Jesse Ficori, the owner of Lola's Coney Island, and my lord and savior now because you brought what Chicago Much needed, needed to Chicago. Much needed. But I gotta ask, so this isn't Jesse's Coney Island, this is Lola's. Who's Lola? Lola's my two-year-old daughter. There you go. Her name's Adorable. Adorable. That's so adorable. she's just got her own business now, that's cool. Yeah. Are you part owner, or does she majority sh shares? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the minority. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Awesome. She's the boss. My poor son Joey just gets a sandwich named after him. That's it. Uh, <laughs> Joey. Hey, that's the life of being the boy. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Joey. You gotta deal with that. So I'm a Detroit guy. Uh, grew up on Coney Islands. You know, National Senate, Lafayette, American, Leos, all of them. You brought one here. Tell the people like what a Coney Island is. Chicagoans kind of know diners. They know Italian beef spots. Like, what is a Coney Island restaurant? So Coney Island, in namesake, it, it's true. Like some people like from New York and people from Chicago, they're like, Coney Island, Detroit, what's going on there? How yeah. is that geographically, it doesn't make sense. Well, the Coney's started out, the guys that came from Greece and Macedonia, they migrated to Brooklyn, New York, and they started selling hot dogs on Coney Island. So the name stuck when they like expanded out to like Ohio and Indiana and Detroit, which arguably, I think it's the most popular in Detroit for sure, because yes. Detroit, 100%. Coney Island, Detroit is synonymous, like Italian beef and yes, Chicago, absolutely. you know? Absolutely, yeah. So I don't care what anybody says about uh, Indianapolis style or Cincinnati style, like it just doesn't work, it's different. I think ours is the best. So are you cool heading back to the kitchen and showing these people about the snap and what kind of makes the Coney Island Coney dog so true and genuine, you know? Because like, there's a lot of imitators. A lot of those imitators, they don't snap, you they don't, don't have the right onions, the snap. they don't have the right chili, and I'm sick of seeing it done incorrectly, so <laughs> Jesse's gonna show us it done right. Is Absolutely, cool? yeah. Right, let's no go problem. in the kitchen. I'm not saying I'm the best guy in the business or anything, but I've grown up with this a block away from Dooley's. I walk to school every morning and see the, the hot dogs laid out on the, the flat top in the window, literally in the window underneath the Dooley's sign. Like the guy used to use an incense paddle yeah. to roll the hot yeah. dogs. Yeah. And it's, people think it's like, oh, it's just a hot dog, whatever, but especially here in Chicago, it's nostalgia for us. It is. You know, for everybody that's that's here from Michigan, all the transplants. I know. The most important thing to me about the hot dog is the roll. Like, you leave, these are gonna sit here, you know, for as long as we're selling them. And then, if you're just pulling out a fresh batch of hot dogs, and you're gonna put them down there, and then try to serve them right after they warm up, it's not cool. They gotta sit there for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Minimum. And that's where you get that snap from. All this, and you just roll back and forth. You roll back and forth. And, and the, honestly, that's copying off of Dooley's, like watching those guys do it all. <laughs> and, and, and the Lafayette guys, too. Yeah. They're badass. We're not holding like 60 hot dogs yeah, on your shoulder. Right. Is it special hot dogs? Like, do you have to import in certain hot dogs? Yeah, and from, those are from Detroit. Those, yeah. hot, those are too. Yeah, those are beef and pork uh, hot dogs from Detroit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's a total different hot dog. It's yeah. way different than the Vienna beef, yeah. you know? And then yeah. another thing is that the chili, obviously. Again, you think, oh, it's simple, it's chili. No. It's key. It's it has to have the right consistency. If it doesn't, it's not good. It just isn't good. Oh yeah, that's what it's gotta look like right there. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. If you let it sit too long, if there's not enough in there when it sits in the pot, it changes color. 
it, uh, it's, it gets hard, and that's not the consistency you want. Right. This is the way I, I know a coney. And then he's chopping up onions right now. Yeah. That's another important key, man. Oh, yeah. Because, like, in Chicago, you could get away with having the big, chunky onions. I know. On a, on a, on a Vienna beef. Not in Especially if you have the five to ones like we do. Yeah. A big, a big onion is fine, but for, for Detroit, they gotta be chopped finely, like little squares. It has to be that way. Yeah. Uh, or, or, or it doesn't work. This chopping game right here is legit. Yeah. Look at that. That's legit. Also, Corey, this experience is exactly what we wanted, right? It's my dream this is experience. the true <laughs> nucleus of the Coney experience. Right. I'm very, very spoiled right now. I take pride in what I do. The Coney's important. I've been wanting to do this, literally, I've been here 19 years for 18 and a half years. I've been wanting to open up a Coney and I finally got the opportunity yeah. to do it and I'm gonna make sure I do it right. Oh, Amazing. I gotta have the steam bun. Okay, no, nope. nobody video. comes back here. You get special this is permission. An ex uh, exception. That's right. <laughs> People just start opening that door. <laughs> All right, oh, man. There's burners too, and then you got the root beer. Oh, what am I gonna do? Um, I feel like for video, I gotta do rock and ride because it's just yeah, it's like the staple of my you know? French or my friendship, my childhood. This is what you get. But don't come back here, Jesse will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Jesse. All right, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Have a good one. Take See you. Care. See you soon. All right, that's two Detroit-style Coney dogs while we're in Chicago, done the right way. This is an innovative, amazing time to be alive. Acquired jump cut. Also, guys, tomorrow is Jesse's birthday. Jesse's birthday. And you guys should comment for sure below. Happy birthday, Jesse. Yeah, and also, like, if legally, you need a new father. I mean, maybe he'll, he's, he's- He might a, name a uh, whole awesome restaurant after you. <laughs> yeah, you might at least get a menu item. At least a sandwich. Corey, is this potentially the first place that's gonna make a number six with cheese that's after us? Maybe a number six oh. with cheese dog? Ooh, I love it. I want it. We parked out front, but as you know, transit can be a little crazy with things. Let's do a quick second angle just to make sure our dogs are doing okay. Take it away. All right, open it up and you're gonna see Ooh. all its glory. That is a Detroit Coney if I've ever seen one. Covered in chili, covered in onions, covered in mustard. That's all you need to know. It's, it's insane. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And he did say, we know you guys like the Detroit style already, so we're going to make it even sloppier. Oh, yeah. And that's, you know, dump that chili on, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing white shorts. <laughs> Good planning, Sean. Nobody cares, Sean. All right, you guys, here we go. This is the Lola's Coney Island Detroit style Coney dog. Cheers. So cheap. Sorry, Cheers. it's dripping all over me. Mm hmm <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. That chili, dude. It's oh. so good. It warms your soul. That is good chili. My soul is warm. I'm it's, getting that snap. The so snap there. The combination of the mustard with the kick of the onions and then that creamy chili. That's why the snap is so necessary, too. This is a texture thing. Mm-hmm. And the dog does taste different. It's not your standard. Vienna. Yeah. Everything you get here is Vienna. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it. Doesn't it. Taste, it tastes a little like, I don't know if this is right. It tastes more like real meat. Like it's more like actual yeah. beef than just like, I agree. I don't know. There's something about it that I like. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right that that texture is key. That snap, it just mixes so well with the chili, man. Six years I've lived in Chicago. I have gotten Coney dogs at a lot of different places, at a lot of different diners, in Chicago meat shops, and I thought maybe somebody's got to just import those dogs, you know? It's always that soft bite. Yeah. Discouraging. <laughs> Here's the pro move. You eat your hot dog. All my hot dog meat's gone. Mm-hmm. Me too. Got about a quarter of the bun left. You use that to swoop up the rest of your chili and onion meat. You're one of today's greatest minds. Mm -hmm. I am addicted to these things. They're so good. That's the best way to eat a hot dog. I'm sorry, Chicagoan. I think that putting a Celery salt. Yeah, it's like, you know, do your thing. Like, for some reason, you're known for celery salt and peppers and tomatoes on a hot dog, and there's a cold and a hot component, which is really odd to me. Detroit goes, hey, we're just gonna go ahead and make the perfect dogs. That'll Made it up, yeah, too late. We've already, that's why Chicago had to do something weird, because the, the perfect dog had already been created by right. someone, you know? And I just want to take a quick moment to say this. I was telling Corey this off camera when we were standing in there. It's days like this that I love doing this show for you guys so much. We met a local business owner, somebody from Detroit, not far from when I grew up, where I grew 
grew up. I know his background. He understands like where I'm from. Seeing somebody come here and fill a void, like Chicago didn't have this. Going in there and just meeting somebody before they open, meeting the staff. I just, it's days like today that make me so appreciative of doing this show every day with yeah, you. Yeah, seriously. And for you guys watching it, and sincerely from the bottom of my heart and to you, Jesse, like this is why food is so important in our culture. This is just the coolest thing to me. It brings people together and people bond over it. And that's what number six with cheese is kind of low key doing, so. Yeah, so guess what? We just made the world a better place. And it's also like 88 degrees right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. It was so good, dude. I only took one sip of my rock and rye, like a real oh. noob tuber. No, well, kind of lucky now. Now you get to enjoy it. Before we rate that, how about one of these? Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. We recently revamped our Patreon. You guys have come in droves to support this channel. It's been amazing. We, I mean, it's really just been a really good month. It's been, yeah, unreal. So these are people that donate every single month to the show. Some top dogs. Corey, who's our name number one? I'm excited about this one because it's got a little descriptor at the beginning of it. We got ourselves uh, a supporter by the name of Big Mitch. Big Mitch. Big Mitch. Big Mitch. Big Mitch. I bet you love Coney Dogs, man. You just. Anybody who puts the, the 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 title big in front of their name, that's a Coney Dog type of guy. Do you think Big Mitch is actually like 5'11"? Ooh, he could He's be. like just kinda big. Like Little John, like the opposite, <laughs> where Little John was giant, you know? Not Lil John. What? Little John Little the Robin Hood. Reminiscing this and that and having such a good time. Patreon shout out name number two, Miss Amanda Sartain. Woo! Good name. Good name. Amanda, thank you so much. Big Mitch, thank you so much. If you guys want to get your name shouted out, you want to jump the line and have it said soon, maybe even in July, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Look at the tiers, donate for what makes sense to you, maybe get some free merch, a lot of fun stuff. We got a ton of fun little things there for you guys. Did Jesse's Coney Dog stack up to what we know and love? Let's rate it. Out of five, Detroit Tigers logos. Yeah. How many Detroit Tigers logos do you give the Coney Dog from Lola's here in Chicago, Corey? Well, I gotta say this, we've eaten quite a few Coney Dogs in our very, time. Very true. We've done, on the show even, we've a done lot. the two classic uh, actual Detroit spots, Lafayette and American. Uh, American. Mm -hmm. uh, Toledo is kind of, no, it's, not, it's kind of a Toledo dog, it's a little different, they don't usually have the snap, but it's still, it's a Coney Dog type. He had the snap. Yep. The meat was on freaking point. The onions were perfect, and everything about it was amazing. That was a five. Boom! That was a five for a Coney dog, especially, you know, coming and bringing that to Chicago was amazing. You earned it, buddy. I think it's pretty obvious. I have been to this place three or four times before this episode because when I found out about it, I flipped out. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you've seen that I've been here. I had never met Jesse before. I sent him a message. He was super kind to Such let us come cool by. Dude. And because I've had probably 15,000 Coney dogs in my life, you have to do it a certain way. Mm -hmm. And if it was imitated, not done right, and he's still kind of figuring out the ropes, I would let you guys know yeah, that. Yeah, gotta be honest. He's figured it out. Yeah, dude, that was just like a Detroit. I mean, that was that was a Coney dog. That's like better That's than some of the Detroit spots. It really is, dude. Like I'm. It was so good, I'm man. Saying, like it was I'm Leo's, so good. Leo's, I love you, but that's better. Uh oh, starting, starting to fight. Now we got to see Leo and uh, Jesse fight. <laughs> five Detroit Tigers logos out of five. If you guys are looking for this spot, if you're big on locations, we're in Humboldt Park. This is Grand, and pretty much where Grand hits Chicago Avenue. It's like oh, we're, yeah, right where the split. Yeah, dude. So it's right there. Definitely come check it out. It's come the only it place out. you're gonna find in the city. Tell Jesse that we sent you. Yes, dude. Like, do I that. saw you do, do the that. video with those two. You nut jobs. And make sure you tell him happy birthday in the comments. He's gonna love it. Even if you come months later, tell him happy birthday. Tell him happy birthday. People love to hear that. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you so much for rocking with us with this oh, local spot. Also, happy National Hot Dog Day. And it is National Hot Dog Day. We should throw that in at the end. Happy. We did do this on purpose. It was, it, we didn't stumble into that. Yeah. Jesse had a sign. We said that's when we're putting it live. Yeah. Done. Done. Happy National Hot Dog Day. Go eat a hot dog. <laughs>